Origin and Evolution of Man About 15 million years ago, primates called Dryopithecus and Ramopithecus were existing. They were hairy and walked like gorillas and chimpanzees. Ramopithecus was more man-like. In Miocene, they also evolved the ape genus Dryopithecus discovered in the form of jaws, teeth and humerus from Asia and Europe and classified as Dryopithecines. It is believed that Dryopithecus represents the ancestral stalk from which evolution took place in two directions, one leading to modern apes, gibbons, orangutan, chimpanzee, gorilla, and the other leading to modern man. Instead, on the basis of fossils, one can only discern the anatomical trends and classify evolutionary history into major structural phases leading towards harmonization. Four structural phases in the evolution of man can be recognized. One, the pre-human phase. Two, the early human phase. Three, the late human phase. And four, the modern human phase. The pre human phase, the Australopithecines or southern apes. Two million years ago, Australopithecines probably lived in East African grasslands. Evidence shows that they hunted with stone weapons but essentially ate fruits. Some of the bones among the bones discovered were different. The early human phase, Habilines. In 1960, new fossil remains, skull of juvenile jaw, collarbone, parts of two hands and left foot, which are about 750,000 years old, were recovered. These bones were attributed to new species, Homo habilis, able or skillful man, who is believed to be the first hominid who could manufacture simple and better tools or weapons. Bipedalism was indicated from the evidence of leg and foot bones. The brain capacities were between 650 to 800 cc. They probably did not eat meat. 